BBRG stock is like a meth addiction. It feels really good at the time, but you know it's going to tear you apart. This whole cryptite dividend business shows that when it comes to its shareholders, the Vinco Ventures board has the moral compass of a pack of alley cats. Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Um, however, that statement may be a little bit empty given the development that has just come from Vinco Ventures, ticker symbol BBIG. So just when we thought the Cryptide's dividend spin-off saga was set to be laid to rest and holders of BBIG stock were set to finally receive their tied dividend stock on the 27th of May, Vinco Ventures has now announced a delay until the end of the second quarter, which is a further month away. However, in a further twist, and one which I think could lead to the Vinco Ventures board landing themselves into some hot water with the SEC, um, it would seem that if you have sold your BBRG stock following the record date of the Tide spin-off, which was set last week on May 18, you may now no longer receive the Cryptide stock. To illustrate what I'm trying to say, let's look at an extract from the company's announcement that Vinco Ventures released during the aftermarket on Wednesday. So the announcement reads, on May 5th, the company announced that each Vinco stockholder of record as of the close of business on 18th of May would receive one share of Cryptide Common Stock for every 10 shares of Vinco Common Stock held and that such share dividend was expected to be distributed on the 27th of May. The company currently expects the distribution date for the Cryptide spin-off to now occur on or about the end of the second quarter of 2022, subject to certain contractual and regulatory conditions being met or waived. So there is the delay and the announcement then went on to read, for clarification regarding the record date and distribution date as it relates to the Cryptide dividend, each Vinco shareholder of record on the record date will receive one share of Cryptide common stock for every 10 shares of Vinco common stock held through the distribution date. However, if a stockholder sells shares of Vinco common stock after the record date, they will not receive the Cryptide dividend. Only holders of shares of Vinco common stock on the distribution date that were outstanding on the record date will be entitled to receive the Cryptide dividend. Following the separation, Vinco shareholders will also receive cash in lieu of any fractional shares of Cryptide common stock that those holders would have been um, entitled to at the 10 to 1 ratio. Um, no action is required by Vinco shareholders to receive the shares of Cryptide common stock in the dividend distribution, yada, yada, yada. So if, like many others, you have sold your BBRG stock position since 18th of May, it would seem you will no longer be receiving this stock dividend that you may have been expecting. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this detail come out, and it is why I think Vinco Ventures could get themselves into some trouble down the track. If you knew about this before, please let me know in the comments below, but to me, this is really news. Anyway, look at the problems of this whole thing. Firstly, they have been calling it this whole cryptide saga a stock dividend publicly throughout this whole time. Even though it's technically a demerger, they then use language in line with issuing a dividend, aka holding the stock on the record date. So they have definitely been misrepresenting to shareholders. It is deceptive conduct. Had they used the term demerger all along, this kind of behavior would be a little more acceptable in terms of the delays that have been going on. However, even a business that does a stock issuance via a demerger, I think would have trouble pulling this off as you can't just change the rules of the record date. And to be honest, I would have to look further into the matter and what BVIG did put in their original SEC fine, but this situation reeks of deceptive conduct. It really does. And this then leads me to another question. What will happen to all the tied shares that are no longer being delivered to those who sold their positions in BVIG? Based on the BVIG float size of 188 million shares, Tide were set to release 18.8 .8 million common stocks adjusted for fractional shares that shareholders were to be compensated with via cash. And since the 18th of May, BBIG has traded about 100 million shares. Obviously, some of this is the action of day trades, but I think a lot of this is people have taken advantage of the more favorable selling conditions for the stock since they released their positive quarter one earnings. Now, with those 100 million shares that have been traded, if we were to say that maybe just a fifth of these were shareholders selling off their positions um, after thinking they had already qualified for the tied dividend, um, that means 20 million shares will no longer qualify for the tied dividend. That's approximately 2 million tied shares that are going to go unaccounted for. Does Vinco Ventures just retain them or do they reduce the overall distribution, thus making the underlying value of the tied stocks that will be issued even more valuable? 
There's still so much more the Vinco board needs to answer for at this point, it seems. The announcement then sparked further aftermarket action when the stock dropped by 44 cents on this news um, from its closing price. This was a 16% drop on a day which was otherwise quite good for tech stocks as the NASDAQ put on about 1.5% for the day. This aftermarket sell um, may be an indicator for a choppy day of trading ahead um, as other holders of BBIG stock look to dump their holdings, especially if they had been holding it after the 18th of May. Given the recent news that BBIG's Q1 revenue quadrupled, I think we can expect some fairly rough conditions for BBIG when trade resumes on Thursday. Um, but it will be somewhat subdued because the company as a whole at least seems to be getting their stuff together. Anyway, we'll, we'll just have to see how it all plays out on Thursday. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the seeming changing of the finish line to receive the tied dividend from Vinco Ventures. Did you sell your stock before the record date? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.